So hello and welcome to today's talk and uh, we'll talk about interesting set of remedies today because we have the rains here and the rains have just started this week in Mumbai. So we are going to talk today about the homeopathic remedies for rainy weather and damp weather. And this is such an important topic because so many homeopaths across India and different parts of the world are going to see now during the rains so many acutes, so many coughs, so many colds, so many fever, so many joint pains, so many exacerbation of already uh, chronic issues, children's cases, cases of babies, infants, old age. So it's a whole plethora of cases. I'm going to just try to give you with this kind of video a little idea as to some very important remedy that you want to keep in your mind and I cannot start the video without talking about the two biggest remedies for rainy weather the number one is Rustox the Dundron and another one is Dalkamala most of you already know about this remedy Rustox and Dalkamala how do you now understand it a little better so, and there is so much of Materia Medica about it, we can keep discussing about this remedy for a long time, but I'm going to give you some clinical tips. <coughs> uh, well, it's very simple. As soon as the rain comes in, if the first symptom is joint pains, Rustox would be more indicated. If the first symptom is Coryza, Qatar, nose block, it's Dalkamara. Remember, Rustox is better by continued motion, but even Dalkamara is better by continued motion. How do you differentiate? You differentiate in the acute with the help of tongue. The tongue of Rustox has a red tip, the typical triangular red tip. And the tongue of Dalkamara will have a lot of salivation so just with this tongue even in case of a child a non-verbal case you can just check the tongue and you'll get the differentiation the other differentiation that i want you to remember is dalkamara will always have profuse secretions so the so discharge of dalkamara will be very watery so this is a very important thing and just one more clinical tip is that if you are treating a case of an infant, a newborn and he gets a nose block due to the rainy weather or due to air condition, directly give Dalkamara 30 straight away. Nose blocks due to the rains, Dalkamara. And what else? I'm, I'm going to now because because we want to talk about so many remedies for the rainy weather i'm going to start off by talking about some lesser known remedies as well some remedies that i want you to remember in your practice there is rains and suddenly patient develops a kind of a indolence i don't feel like doing anything i just don't feel like doing anything i feel a kind of a lethargy I feel a despair, I feel a disgust, I feel depressed, suddenly I don't feel like getting up at all for months. I feel my thyroid symptoms have got aggravated. So when you see this mindset getting affected in the rainy weather, the remedies are two main remedies, ammonium carb and sanguinary canadensis. These are the two huge remedies that I wanted to remember. Both are different remedies. Sanguinaria may typically have the typical headache of sanguinaria, the right-sided <coughs> headache from the forehead going to the occiput, better by pressure, aggravated by odor. Ammonium carb is a much more indolent personality, very dull, drowsy, very obese. You may often have a lot of issues to do with the retrosphere. sphere. It's typical for ammonium carb. 
Let's go further. Another patient may tell you and the mother will tell you about the child that my child keeps getting ear infection. Keeps getting throat infection only in the rains. And there is a lot of mucus in the posterior nerves. Everything affects the ear. Ear infection, otitis, in case of babies, children, even adults and this posterior nerves. Remember the remedy. Manganum aceticum. It's a very beautiful remedy. Manganum aceticum. It's one of the lesser used remedy for damp weather. Who frequently gets throat and ear infection. Manganum aceticum danger. Is also a remedy I would like you to think about because it's a very important polygrist remedy and you can watch another of my video where I talk about manganum aceticum and the state of mind of manganum aceticum and how embittered they are and how at a deeper level they, they kind of keep everything inside them and then they develop a kind of a hatred and they, they kind of develop a kind of a revenge or rancor feeling and they always would feel better by listening to slow music and want to lie down all the time. This is typical for manganum aceticum later. But the big remedy in a place like India, in a place like South America, in some places of Europe, rains. And during the rains, patient suddenly gets fever. In fever, big chills. Constant chills, chills not going out, chills, 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 chills. No fever stage, no sweat stage, no appetite. You put some covering, they can't do anything, still chills. Chills all the way. No antibiotic helping, no fever remedy helping, only one remedy. What's the remedy? Arrhenia diadema. The big spider remedy. Arrhenia diadema. Big remedy for spider. Big spider remedy. Chills. So it has a big malarial constitution, Arrhenia diadema. So if you are in Mumbai or you are in some part of India which, which has a marshy land, very damp land, and some patient, the child keeps getting recurrent chills. It, it, it's not only malaria, it could be anything. It could be typhoid, it could be dengue, it could be COVID. It could be recurrent COVID with a lot of chills. Arrhenia diadema. The other important symptom, Arrhenia diadema, and you should know this that. They have a feeling as if something is enlarged. They feel, oh, my eye is getting enlarged. Sensation of enlargement is a very important symptom of arania diadema. Although in adults, there is another very peculiar symptom. They feel better by smoking. This is also a common symptom of most spider remedy. You will also see that in charantula and so many other spider remedies. The other very very important remedy that we tend to kind of forget which I want to talk to you about and especially in children's case Children's case children come and they tell you I'm getting a lot of pain in the abdomen They eat all kind of food and they say I get pain here and you ask where is the pain? They say the umbilical region is very painful cramping pain and the rains are out The rains are out the infections are out with the child claiming umbilicus is painful. Only one remedy, ladies and gentlemen. Again, a remedy you know about Dalka Mala. Many people may think, why not Natsurf? Natsurf is a much deeper remedy. It's a constitutional remedy at a much deeper level, much psychotic miasm remedy, and a better remedy for respiratory sphere. So, typically, when they develop asthma due to during rains, that would be more natrum self. Another remedy, blata. Patient develop cough, lot of cough, a lot of cough during rains. Single remedy, bryonia. We never think about bryonia because we think rustox is everything. But remember, bryonia and rustox are complementary in many cases, and bryonia has to be used in many cases. You think it's rustox. Bryonia Linja. Some patient may suddenly develop dysentery. Dysentery. 
bleeding in the stools during rains capsicum with a lot of burning capsicum although if it's only diarrhea there are many remedies rustox dalkamara zingiber many remedies two or three more remedies i want to tell you a uh, clinical tips i want to tell you some children may keep on getting during the rainy weather snuffles what is snuffles like this this is snuffling only remedy carry bicromicum some patients during the rainy weather may develop profuse diarrhea watery diarrhea watery diarrhea watery diarrhea viratrum album for them viratrum album some patients during the rainy weather may develop very bad sciatica sciatica and rainy weather nephalium headache during rainy weather glonoin again glonoin is normally we think sun but remember it's also given in rainy weather aggravates headache you will have to read a lot of different repertories to collect all these information that i'm telling to you along with a lot of clinical experience sometimes patient develop lot of stiffness during rainy weather in the muscle in the joints and you think what remedies like rust toxic or not like dalkamara but one more small remedy i want to tell you which is a very interesting remedy is magnolia grandifolia very interesting remedy read about it from boric it has a very important action on heart but very 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 important remedy patient develop lot of bone pains lot of bone pains they get lot of pains old women rheumatoid arthritis cases bone pains during rainy weather the remedy stillinga silvestica all oh, these are all syphilitic remedies bone pains in rainy weather stillinga mercury mesarium and the last remedy for today old men old men who suddenly can't hear properly in rainy weather impaired hearing in rainy weather suddenly there were lot of catarr lot of catarr from the throat from the chest remember the remedy calendula read it from boric very important for impaired hearing in damp rainy weather calendula it's a very big hydrogenoid remedy the last remedy that i want to tell you about any kind of upper respiratory tract infection eye infection nose infection throat infection with lot of watering of eyes itching during the rainy weather think about cali iod cali iod beautiful remedy okay so these are some ideas about some very important remedies about during rainy weather these are just some clinical tips but you want to you want to know all this when you are practicing